Rokid Air AR Glasses, the future of eyewear. For a long time, augmented reality or AR headsets were restricted to businesses with few options available to the general public. This has begun to change recently with one of the most recent consumer AR glasses, the Rokid Air, attempted at general entertainment and gaming. But is it compelling for the general consumer to adopt AR because it is sleek, lightweight, and has a plug-and-play approach? So, let's dive into a video to learn about eyewear's future and make sure to subscribe to Metagen for more videos like this. Here we begin! Rokid Air released their long-awaited augmented reality AR glasses this month, but surprisingly, the glasses make a far better head-mounted display despite having the sensors required for AR. What distinguishes good AR glasses from good head-mounted displays is their application. AR glasses are designed to blend virtual elements with reality so that virtual elements appear as if they were physically present in the room with you. No other product does this as well. Most AR glasses, at best, display a ghostly image of the virtual element, which is adequate for training manufacturing, and repair work, but less than ideal for entertainment. The best head-mounted displays are occluded, high-resolution virtual monitors in front of your eyes, and Rokid Air's product does this well right now. This technology has the potential to significantly alter the evolution of both PC and smartphone displays by eliminating traditional PC and smartphone displays. Specifications and Description The Rokid Air glasses, which cost less than $500 US and deliver true HD performance, are far superior to the old Sony glasses. In addition, they don't require batteries because they draw power from the source. They have optical adjustments that should eliminate the need for corrective lenses when using them. They can emit up to 1800 nits of light, making them useful outdoors. You could read a book with them because the text is clear, but it would be nice if you repositioned the image because one of the lower corners tended to drop out the view. The refresh rate is 60Hz, which is sufficient for work and some gaming, and these, like the Sony glasses, work well for video content. If you use the Rokid Air app, your phone transforms into a large touchpad. Otherwise, the glasses function as an external mirrored monitor. They are ideal for use on a plane when you don't want other passengers to see what you're doing. They do have sensors, enhanced 9-axis IMU and magnetometer, and a sensor fusion scheme proximity sensor for AR, but that requires an app that supports these glasses. The screen is moderately occluded because you can see through the content on the glasses around you if you look closely. Typing while wearing them is similar to wearing bifocals in that you can see your hands below the displayed image. We don't wear bifocals, so doing real work took some getting used to, but they were fine for browsing the web or watching Netflix, YouTube, or Amazon Prime. They also have speakers and a noise-canceling microphone. Finally, when they worked, we discovered that using voice commands was a better way of inputting text than typing. This last point implies that these would be far superior for those using advanced speech-to-text tools. Price. As with virtual reality, augmented reality or AR headsets have been pro prohibitively expensive until recently and thus have been marketed toward enterprise use. For example, the Microsoft HoloLens 2 starts at $3,500, while the Magic Leap 1, from a company that started with consumer AR before pivoting to enterprise, starts at $2,295. Other companies, however, have developed less expensive, consumer-oriented AR glasses that could easily be mistaken for sunglasses in recent years. These include the $599 Enreal Light and the $599 Mad Gaze Glow Plus, which are portable smart glasses that plug into your phone to use the latter as the processing unit and mirror content viewable through the glasses, similar to holograms. The Rokid Air under consideration here works similarly and is currently available $749 US on Indiegogo. Accessories in the box? The following items are included in the box. AR glasses Rokid Air, USB Type-C cable, a sturdy carrying case, cloth for cleaning, and a user guide. Overall product. It is an 83 gram glass with an HD directional speaker for audio, AI voice recognition, and a high-performance noise-canceling microphone for AI interaction, etc. Boasting 1800 nits of brightness, it has diopters catering for myopia for 0.0, .0 to minus 5.00D and has an optical display of FOV 43 degrees with a contrast ratio of 100,000 to 1, the resolution is 1920 by 1080 by 2, and the refresh rate is 60 hertz. The physical button is to turn the screen on and off and has connectivity for Android phones with USB-C port and OTG, while iOS, it connects with third-party accessories. Also, a video game consoles like PS4, Nintendo Switch, Xbox, etc. connects with an HDMI port. Finally, it has some sensors like IMU or magnetometer with enhanced 9-axis, sensor fusion scheme and proximity sensor. 
What do product owners and developers have to say? When Google unveiled its augmented reality AR headset in 2013, it was an ambitious, expensive, and bulky piece of technology with little real-world application. Fast forward to 2019, and technology has advanced sufficiently, we are ready for the second wave of AR glasses. In fact, the industry has coined the term MR for it, or mixed reality. Following the recent introductions of Microsoft, Magic Leap, and Beijing-based Unreal, Hangzhou-based Rokid is working on its own consumer MR glasses. Rokid's vision, like Unreal's Light, is significantly lighter and less bulky than Microsoft's and Magic Leap's offerings. Unreal Light, on the other hand, must be plugged into a small CPU box that houses a Snapdragon 845 chipset. In contrast, Rokid's Vision is a standalone pair of glasses that plugs directly into devices and lets the device's CPU handle the processing. The Vision benefits from not being tied into a single chipset, which can quickly become outdated. For example, if you plug Rokid's Vision into a Huawei P30 Pro, the phone's Kirin 980 processor is already more powerful than the Snapdragon 845 used in the Unreal Light. The Vision weighs 120 grams, which is about a quarter of a pound. That's a little heavier than regular glasses, but a lot lighter than other AR MR goggles on the market. The Vision's front side, the side facing away from the user, has a single RGB camera and two depth sensors. All three lenses work together to produce a simultaneous localizing and mapping, or SLAM, which allows the glasses to roughly identify what they're looking at, including how far objects are from the lenses. The inside of the glasses, or the parts that face the user, are made up of two screens, one for each eye. The screens have a 1080 by 720 resolution and a 45 degree field of view. The footage pumped out is only 720p resolution, so the visuals aren't the sharpest we've seen. But they do move at 60 frames per second, so the visuals are smooth, and the colors are vibrant enough that we could see clearly even when displaying outdoor scenarios. Zhao Wei Kui, Rokid's lead software engineer, says the company's current team of 30 engineers has created a variety of games and software. Still, the SDK or Systems Toolkit will be made available to third-party developers so they can create their own content. We were able to watch videos, surf the web, and play a couple of games while testing a prototype unit, which used the glasses slam technology to identify the direction we were looking and the surfaces on which the virtual characters appeared. According to experts, the vision's primary goal will be entertainment and productivity. For example, in some parts of the press materials, a woman is seen working on a computer without a monitor, with visuals superimposed over her. However, we're not sure how realistic these scenarios are because the visual overlays we saw needed to be bigger to read an article or type Word documents comfortably. However, Rokid has time to perfect the product. The Rokid Vision is expected to hit the market in 2020. The unit we tested was a prototype that will need another 6 months of refinement. Experts say the price has yet to be decided, but it will be in the smartphone range, so expect it to be $800 and $1,000, making it one of the cheapest MR glasses on the market. So, what do you think of this AR glass? Let us know in the comments below!